Okay, ladies and gents, today we're going to talk about how to recolor parts of your photo in version 10 of Zara's designer products. Now what I have here are two views set up of the same, uh, um, same file. <clears throat> this is Untitled 2.1 and Untitled 2.2 over here. Um, and basically, uh, one's just a zoomed in version and, and one's a, the full color. Um, I, I did something on how to recolor parts of your photo um, a few years back, um, and that was done with version 8 of, uh, of Zara Designer Pro. Uh, since then, uh, two of the main tools that you use to do this have changed, so I thought I needed to do an update. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make sure that um, I show you how to do it. So I've chosen this photo, uh, not because I want to actually recolor anything in here, but because um, of some of the properties of it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recolor this woman's dress uh, to match something closer to, to this young girl's dress here. Um, but because it is a, a very red dress and there's lots of other red in this, uh, in this photo, I'm going to show you how to, to do just the dress without uh, messing with anybody else's colors. So to do that, um, the first thing I want to do is apply a um, apply a mask. Uh, um, I prefer working with masks. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Some people like to work with uh, photo regions, but uh, I like to work with masks because I get to see what is protected and what is not. Um, again, that's just me. Uh, but the the apply mask tool button, whatever you want to call it, uh, um, no longer exists in Zara. Uh, so to get a mask where you want it, first you need to go ahead and create a photo region. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and just use that photo region uh, rectangle tool uh, and uh, create one right over this. Now I said I was going to use a mask, so after I've done that, if I click on this mask painter tool, that becomes the mask. So now that I have that, I'm going to go through and, uh, um, and take some of that mask away because everything that's pink is protected. Um, and that's, again, like, that's why I like using masks because I get to see what's protected and what's not. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down the shift key. And if you'll notice uh, on my cursor when I do that, that little minus sign comes up. So once I've done that, then I can take things away. And I can play kind of fast and loose with this for the most part because there's not a lot of red uh, touching this woman's dress until you get up to here to this guy, right? And his arm on his jacket is showing quite a bit of red. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get around that as best as I can. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, but uh, because this is just an example, but you get the uh, you get the picture. So after I've done that, then I want to go ahead and clear out as much of this as I can. And then I'm just going to scroll down because there's also some red in the water in the reflection that I want to get. And so I'm going to go ahead and just cover that or uncover it. All right. All right. It's looking pretty good. And if I got a little too much there, I can let go of the, the shift key and cover up a little bit more. All right, so there we go. Now I've got the, the pieces that I don't want uh, covered, uncovered, yeah? Now that I have that, then I want to go ahead and apply my application. So this is just protecting the pieces of the photo uh, that I want protected, everything in, that's pink is protected, and everything that is not pink is not protected, okay? That's, that's all I've done so far. So now uh, we're going to go to this Photo Enhance or Enhance Photos tool right here and click on that. And that's where the Color Select uh, or Select Colors to Enhance uh, button uh, now is. Uh, it used to have its own, uh, its own place, but it's now uh, located here. So when I click on this Select Colors to Enhance button, I want you to notice that there's nothing here right now. But as soon as I click on it, uh, this little arrow pops up. And that brings up the, if you click on that, that brings up the parameters, the tolerance and the fade for uh, uh, what, what it is you're about to, uh, to do. I'm going to go ahead and leave these where they are. Uh, those are fine as for, for what I'm going to try to do. And I'm going to go ahead and drag a drag select. Hello. There it went. 
and, uh, and cover part of this dress. Now, one thing that you'll notice is, that's very different from uh, uh, the way it used to work is that you don't see what colors have been selected. If you use your mouse and click on this, and uh, you don't have to move it around, but just clicking on it, you can see what's being picked up. And even over here, you can kind of see that. And that's interesting that it's happened this way. Uh, that's the first time I've seen it do that, where it's, it's stayed on one and, and not on the other. See, normally that's the way it looks. Okay, anyway, so this is looking pretty good. There's some red down here at the very bottom fringes that's kind of a darker red. You can see sticking out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and get that as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and come down, and I'm going to create another spot, and I'm going to make this much smaller. And I'm going to get that down here, and as soon as I get that, that pretty much has gotten the colors that I want there, but not 100%. See, there's some colors down here, so I'm going to do one more color, spot color here. I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down a little bit get it exactly where I want it and that's looking pretty good now that I have those three different spots to pick up the different colors that I want to enhance I can actually enhance the photo so now I've chosen my my colors now I'm going to go over to this button right here and this is setting the photo hue All right so only the things that I've chosen which is the red that's inside of here uh, should be picked up. So when I click on this and change the hue over to that light blue, maybe slightly darker than the than the complete light blue, and then change the, the strength, I should start to get this nice light blue color. Now I can probably adjust that slightly. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. There we go. That's probably pretty close to what I, what I want. Now, you can see there are two different lines around this thing, um, and there's a reason for that, because I started doing one of these before, and Zara um, randomly thinks that uh, uh, I didn't delete the, uh, um, the region, even though I did. Um, but that's beside the point. That's why you're seeing some, some anomalies here. But this came out relatively good and if I go ahead and remove my mask clear mask region you can see that that came out fairly well and that this color fairly closely matches this color and even that the uh, uh, reflection in the uh, um, in the water came out as well so that's how you do it um, I hope you found that useful and interesting and um, We'll come back again, visit us again next time. Thank you.